you two people, this is Jesse, Crave Collector 01, here today for another Digimon review. Today I'll be reviewing um, the Digimon Cross Wars figure series number two, which is Ballistamon. He is the second, fi uh, second figure in the Cross Wars figure series. Um, I guess they would be the, the DX, um, what we would know as Digivolving. Um, the digivolving figures but they have a different way of doing it basically from the show's gimmick so right out of the box you get Ballistamon and you get the Digimemory for Gilmon which um, works with the Digimon crossloader which I may may not get um, depending it's basically like a little um, type of battle chip that you use with the crossloader. So, let's hit it over here. We'll take a quick look at the box. You see we get um, actual product shot, shot of Ballistamon. Ballistamon um, CG from the show. There is um, Cross 3. No, Cross 4 because he has the sword. We'll, we're working up to that. That that will be shown in um, Darulumon's review. Um, you get some basic instructions of how to make um, Shout Mon Cross 2. And um, more product shots with the um, combined modes. So that's pretty well it for the box. We'll move on to the figure. Um, this guy is Ballistamon. He, uh, he's actually very nice. Um, the paint, The paint quality... And the plastic quality is superb. I haven't felt plastic quality this good in quite a while. Probably, I would liken it to, for Transformers fans, it would be the plastic quality of, say, um, some of the Armada toys. It's that kind of plastic. And the plastic, um, for the Power Rangers fans, would probably be closer to, like, um, Probably Astro Megazord, the feel and quality of the plastic and the denseness. Um, so pretty nice. Um, Blistamon's fairly basic. He has um, some standard articulation. And the one thing that I love about these toys so far, from the set that I do have, is everything is ratcheted or ball jointed or swiveled in some way. Like even the legs have a slight ratchet. You can kind of hear them. And the detailing is fantastic. They look just like they do in the um, TV show, which is what you would want. Um, he has nice gold on the arms, silver on the, um, I guess it would be sort of like a gauntlet. He has yellow eyes, um, silver. And one thing I like, when you take Blistamon's head off, they actually screwed on a bottom plate that makes the head solid. They could have very, very easily just left that hollow but they did and same as the feet they even went the extra step to put um, bottoms on his feet and mold them um, some thruster detail in there which he should have from the show I mean albeit it's screw holes but they did it nonetheless which was really really nice um, but standard articulation you get a ratcheted 360 in the shoulder you get swivel at the elbow and you get swivel at the wrists. So you get swivel at the wrist. So he's got from the elbow articulation to the shoulders. And he gets in and out as well. He gets a pretty wide range. You can um, imitate his attacks from the show. The um, ultimate speaker which he would blast um, sound waves. Or a big um, like sonic boom out of his chest. You can imitate some. And you can just put him in some nice little poses. Um, he's, he's a very decent figure. His arms have to be well articulated for the combined mode. Which we'll get into in Darulamon's review. But basically with this set what you want to do um, to get him to shout Mon cross 2. Um, which is weird with the Digimon um, crosses. It goes, it's always Shoutmon. Like, the Digimon doesn't, when they 
combined. They don't have individual names. It's just shot, shot one across two, shot one across three, all the way up to seven, which um, as of this recording, there is no toy for cross seven. The highest we get is cross five B, which we'll get into. Uh, but for this guy, what you want to do is just pull off the head. It frictions between these little clips here, and it slides along this track. But you just pull it straight off. You take the figure, pull it apart at the middle. Mm. And it has some pretty hefty clips. There's actually three clips that hold this into place. Um, there's a white clip here, here, and here that have clips here, here, and there, and it all just tabs together. Then what you want to do is take the chest piece, flip it down, then you want to take sh uh, Shoutmon here, which we've seen in our last review, just leave him just like this. He goes in right here. You can see there's kind of a spot dug out for his arm. And then you just take the other half of Blistamon and close it around Shoutmon. Like so and you'll see on this stomach piece that there is a um, some track molded into there that fits the track on Blistamon's head just slide it on and there you have Shoutmon Cross 2 and Shoutmon Cross 2 um, as a figure is pretty weak in the show this is like a translucent visor and you really only see the crest on Shoutmon's head. His nose does stick out in the middle like it does in the show, but Shoutmon's eyes should be behind the visor, which um, for toy purposes, it can't be recreated 100% accurately. But it is, um, it's nice for what it is. It's cross two. You can tell that it's cross two, and he still does retain all of the arm articulation nothing is really hindered from this combination um, this combination like I said is weak um, what's really when they really start getting nice is in the next review which is the Rubimon and that's when this set really starts to shine and you start um, seeing what you can do with the set so um, on that I'll end this review um, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like my Facebook fan page. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more Digimon reviews. This has been Jesse, Crow Collector 01, signing off. A burden I never wanted. I'm getting close to overload. It's been far too long. Since we're here last man